Hi art friends! Hello art friends! It's looking very snug on here today because we're both gonna have a little doodle together. Ooh, what you got there? Yeah, this is the cup of tea I'm drinking today. This is a Christmas present that you bought me last Christmas. <laughs> it's a stolen date. What? And probably it's tea. Vanilla, orange, and coconut. Ooh, well, that sounds fancy. Yeah, and I've got that over here in a mug. See? <laughs> Well yeah guys, welcome to Doodles and Tea. You know what it is by now. You draw what you want to draw and you drink your favourite drink and we all have a very good time. And I've also brought along this little apple palette. Oh no! I don't know if you guys can remember me buying this apple palette. We've actually got a video where you can follow me around and watch me find this for the first time. We'll put it in the cards guys. Also, What's I've that? got this. Huh? Ta -da! Is that apple ink to put in your apple palette? Yes, oh that's my why god. <laughs> this page has largely been inspired around apples. Ooh, let's get it. You might want to just get it in shot so the people can see. Oh, that's so pretty. You'll be able to see it better when I do something with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be inking this pencil sketch with this oh, ink. Oh, that's my ink that I bought and I haven't even used it. I know, it. right? So I was really curious how this will work. So I'm going to be using this little thing. Whoop! Got to give it a shake. I'm setting up my water brush. Setting up my water brush. <laughs> it's not much setting up really, you just got to <laughs> screw it on. Oh yeah, and I'm using this. This is the G-nip from the manga supplies video that we did. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this. <coughs> Bless you. Also another thing, I've been waiting Ooh. all day today for an art supply to come in and I was considering doing a video with it when it arrived. Yes. And with it being near Christmas at the moment, it uh -huh. just took ages and ages and ages for it to arrive because it's kind of late now. So. But it, it is here now, right? Yeah, it's literally just arrived as we started filming this and I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> I've just set up to start doing something else now. <laughs> I heard you like art supply as well. But I imagine I'll probably end up showing it in a video at some point. Are you gonna give the people at home a little sneak as to what it might be? Maybe a hint or two? I don't know where it is. <laughs> I haven't even opened it up yet. It's that little box over there. It's on the floor. I'm gonna run over and look at it. Are you going again? <laughs> we interrupt this video to bring you a box. It's not, it's not open though. Yeah, you'll have to uh, tear into it. How the hell am I ever getting this? Don't worry guys. I'll still, I'll still maintain the fact that this is an art channel and not an unboxing channel. Hold on, me just trying to savagely get me. <laughs> She's like cradling it like a child, but ripping it as well. That's terrifying. I'm gonna sit on the floor with it for a moment. <laughs> Is it one you out there? Ow. This could be doodles and tea and also an extra surprise. Oh, wow. Oh, it comes in a, oh, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Right, a bunch of you might be like, I thought you already had this, but just hear me out. <laughs> Show the people. Ta -da! It's like a bigger set of Ahuhu markers. Because uh outside of Doodle Dates, I use my Ahuhu markers all the time. It's like your favourite brand. Seriously guys, no joke, it's Steph's favourite brand and it's one of the cheapest we've ever came across. And you want to know why I'm excited right now? Tell me! It's because apparently Ahuhu markers send random colours every time you buy your set. Oh. Okay. And I want to see if either I get some different colours. Hmm. Or if I end up getting some of the same ones as ones that I use a lot because you can't buy very specific yeah. replacements. So it really is like a marker lottery, isn't it? I'm unzipping. I'm <laughs> don't, unzipping. don't say that off camera. Oh. Hey, that actually looks like a nice a nice collection as well. Right. Let me see, let me see. I haven't actually... <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I got terracotta. That's one of my favourite colours. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a wonderful day. Thanks for being with me, guys. <laughs> well, this has turned into a marker haul. <laughs> Let's see, what other colours do I have? That's the one I was most excited about. It's crazy to think you bought all those markers just to get one. I'm glad you got that one. Oh, and rose pink. Oh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> these are two step winners. <laughs> oh, my word. Yeah, we'll have to do a video with these at some point. Oh, after this video, I'm going to swatch these guys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all of them. I might go in the other room when you do that. <laughs> You're depressing me with your swatches. <laughs> What's your uh, inspiration behind your drawings today? Just around the fact that they're green. It's around apple palette. <laughs> yeah, but... I can't open my apple link. This is like... <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs> you help me open you my... want me to help? <laughs> need some... It's like cemented. You need some muscle. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> This character that I'm drawing's got a halo because I'm 
getting like Joan of Arc vibes from it when I was doodling. I'm putting some apple green in here, in my apple palette. <laughs> <laughs> Pay close attention, everyone. Very important details over here. Getting ink everywhere. I'm panicking. This is very intimate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a right juggling act behind the scenes. <laughs> We're sat literally rubbing shoulders because this setup's so small. <laughs> and we can't make the camera go any higher than what it is. Oh, little tripod's tiny. I'm just gonna run off into this corner and I'm giving her apple green hair. Ooh. Oh yeah, the camera can see it. I was worried because you're in your own little private corner over there, but we can see you. <laughs> yeah, it's quite bright coloured ink. I love the sound of ink in nibs. <laughs> I'm glad someone does. <laughs> I think using dip pens and screen tone are like some of the most relaxing, like therapeutic art supplies ever. Yeah, dip pens definitely. That used to be one of my favourite things about Inktober. Because you just have to, like, do everything so slow, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you normally draw really fast with pencils. It's fun just to take your time. I'm just going to wipe this on here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just ruining your relaxing vibe. <laughs> Are you quite finished? <laughs> just about. I just realised I shouldn't have dipped into the colour in so quickly, because I haven't finished even, like, inking anything just yet. <laughs> It looks really cute though. Well, that's okay. I like your little frog. This is like one of my favourite things to do, just drawing with no kind of plan whatsoever. We can just let your mind wander, right? I mean, do you guys, when you sit down, do you often find yourself planning out like a huge drawing or something? Or do you just let your mind sort of wander and see what happens? To be honest, a lot of the times, like outside of videos when I draw stuff, it ends up being like such a planned... Well, like a well thought out kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, where I end up doing like colour thumbnails and I'm scared to put a line in in case I do something that oh. I didn't want to do. <laughs> so that's why I like these kind of videos because it just gives me a chance for my mind to just do whatever it wants to. What is that? I'm doing oh. an apple pie in the corner over here. <laughs> is that what that is? I keep getting distracted because, like you guys probably know from how we film our videos, when we're filming, only one person can draw at, the set at, at that time. Yeah, because the other person has to hold the camera. So it's like, watching Steph draw, I'm like, oh, I'm, do I need to film? Am I, am I missing something? I'm worried, am I like hugging all the room? You seem to be in such a tiny little area. <laughs> okay, well, let's move along a bit. <laughs> She's moving in. I'm moving in, guys. I just want to make sure that people can see your cute art. I love it when you do little pages that are just full of little doodles like that. That's one of my most favourite things that you do. Oh, really? Yeah, I need to do more stuff like that. Right, so working left to right, I'm trying to train myself. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, teacher! I'm trying to not bash you at the moment <laughs> with my pen. You're poking me in the armpit with your pen. <laughs> I need to just get this little bit of this pie in, though. There's Oops. nothing romantic about this color. I'm writing the date in, like, first, I say. I hope that's a day anyway. <laughs> I can't remember if I've opened my advent calendar today. Is that the right date? Now you've got me worried about it. <laughs> <clears throat> I wonder how long it'll take my ink to dry on that because I can't like smudge my hand you through. So you're doing it as well. Why do we instinctively go from right to left? <laughs> mm. I keep being tickled by that pet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is a new sketchbook I'm breaking in at the moment. Uh, it's the one that I did a sketchbook tour on recently, the same kind of brand. You are like loving Dale O'Rowney stuff at the moment. Yeah, I was wondering whether I should start using this for my doodle date stuff because I don't have a doodle date sketchbook at the moment. Yeah, at the minute you've um, you filled that one up, right? I'm pretty. Yeah, you filled that one up now, haven't you? Mhm. Mm have I done a video on it? I can't even remember. I'm, I'm not sure if you have. No. Oh. Well guys, give us a thumbs up if you want to see a, a sketchbook tour of Seth's Doodle Date sketchbook. And it's actually fall. <laughs> hey. And detecting some passive aggressiveness from you. I want Adam to do one of his screen ton art tours. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't have a lot of those, but I can definitely do one when I've got a few more. Just because you've got lots of random bits of card around the house with like screen ton drawings on. Well, that's the problem. I don't know where they all are. <laughs> but I can definitely do one of those. It's such a fun little thing to do. Because I'm really, like, not very good at colour and stuff, screen tone's a great way to uh, get some, like, I guess, tones. Because it's not colour, it's uh, black and white, but 
Yeah, I guess it's like an easy way to colour in your work. Exactly. <laughs> By the way, if you can hear sort of like a metal-y kind of sound, that's how a guinea pig's drinking at the same time. <laughs> I want to be involved in this video. I want to drink everything. Whenever we film these as well, Adam always bribes the guinea pigs with snacks. <laughs> yeah, because whenever we do, whenever we like draw or whatever together, they love to just get involved. Like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I like you. And they start going, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and they're, they're getting used to it now where if we set up filming, they know what we're doing and they start like kicking up a fuss and making lots of noise and like, oh, I get free treats now. I just love guinea pigs. They're so smart. <laughs> you didn't really know anything about guinea pigs until you met me. Until I met you. That's very true. <laughs> you taught me all about the pigs. How many of you guys in the comments have a guinea pig? We oh. get a lot of comments from people with guinea pigs. Oh, that would make me so happy. <laughs> and if you don't have a guinea pig, just tell us what you would name a guinea pig if you had one. <laughs> Give us your top guinea pig names. Oh, yeah. I bet there's a Google list for that somewhere. Instead of, like, baby names, it's guinea pig names. I'm having a guinea pig soon. What, is, what should I name him? Oh, the mouth has got some tiny details in. Yeah, I'm doing some tiny little details over here as well. Oh, yeah, this is adorable. I always go more quiet when I draw something that's like a circle. A circle? Yeah, or like a semi-circle. It's so easy to just have a little hand wobble and then... Oh. And off you go. I love like your line style that you've been doing. I think it's so sweet. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that they think I've got really recognizable line art on my Instagram and stuff, and I didn't think it was really that. Oh, no, no, definitely. I think it's really, really good. Oh. Yeah, it was really fun doing that meme thing that was going around where uh, you do. Well, you post that picture and it says, like, what, what is my art trademark? It's really interesting seeing what you guys thought our trademarks were. Yeah, some people said things that I would never have thought of myself. A lot of you guys said with me poses and eyes, which I thought was really sweet. It's fun doing this while we're both having a doodle. I'm seriously, guys, I am not used to this. I keep thinking like, oh, we're talking and having fun. I should be filming, but it it is filming. It's it's, <laughs> it's such a weird like feeling. You still in shot? I might. Be. I like to check that you're in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's in shot. My hand covers up my work quite a lot because it's no. such a little sketch, but. This girl's got a little apple earring that I'm putting in. Oh, it's all so cutely themed. I'm trying to make the eyes match on both sides. Oh, that's... Oh my god, don't even go there. <laughs> I love the variation that you can get with this G-nib. This is easily my favourite. Oh, the G-nib's your favourite? Yeah, this is my favourite one. I, I think th I've ever used. A lot of people recommend the G-nib. I think a lot of like manga artists use that one. Oh, I can see why. I'd love to get really good using this. Whew, I think I managed to do the face. Oh, that looks really cute. <laughs> I'm getting ink all over my fingers. Have I got any on me yet? Nah, no, you're that's good. pretty good going for me. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna erase the pencil and then go over any lines that I think I might need to do. I'm I just... need to grab me an eraser. And I'm just popping in the lines of this hair. It's also really weird, like, when we film, and I can walk off and go and get stuff. I'm still not used to that. Yeah, because normally that's, like, a right carry-on normally. I hope you guys enjoy the Doodles and Tea series, though, because it's something that... It's kind of like a guilty pleasure for us. Yeah. Like, we really enjoy doing it. So I hope you guys really enjoy it, too. It's a nice way of just getting sort of cosy and having a doodle together. <laughs> well, that's it. I feel like, like what we do here is, like, um... It feels more like a casual hangout together. Like, you could even just put us on in the background if you wanted to while you're drawing something. I'm checking if the ink's dry and it's not, and I'm like, eee. You might want to leave that a little while. I it's mean, supposed to be it's super fast quick drying. drying, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, it's good in there. That's really cute. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of you. I don't have green hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if that colorblind video is anything to go by. I know, we always get comments saying that. He can't say yellow! He's stupid! <laughs> Some of that's true, but... No, <laughs> stupid. I just think a lot of people just don't understand what it's like to be colorblind. We are planning, it may be in the new year now, but we are planning to do another colorblind video. 
I think it's dry. I don't think anything's coming up now. <laughs> it's, I just don't want to like start erasing and then just loads of ink just go. Bwee. I've done a little apple colored snail. Oh. <laughs> It's so cute, it kind of looks like a big curly piece of snut. I know it, look, it's not dry. I know it. <laughs> Just let it be for a moment. Oh, okay, fine. I can clean that up. I might scan that in and clean it up. It's okay, we have the technology. It's kind of ironic that I'm doing a picture that's like all green. Hey, that's cool. Sometimes you just gotta get the green out of your system. <laughs> There's not a lot of it in my system, guys, don't you worry. Well, it ain't sap green. That's been like a running joke for ages <laughs> with us. And there was a time where whenever we did like colour marker challenges, you'd always get green. I know! Why do I always <laughs> get green? Oh, that's some really old doodle dirt content. <laughs> yeah, you're, a, you're like a, an old... Uh, can we even say you're an old school fan if you know that stuff? There's some YouTubers that have been like uploading content regularly on the platform since like... For like a decade? Yeah, yeah, for like a decade, literally. <laughs> I wonder if we will be. If you guys keep watching us, we will gladly do it. <laughs> because, um, well, if you don't, we'll probably just have to get other jobs. <laughs> That's why we're really grateful for all of you. You're very sweet. I'm not even like colour swatching to see what these colours are. I just go for it and then stick them on my drawing. It's really cool looking. I like it. One of my foot's going to sleep. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not cool foot. Let me wipe some of this off on here. <laughs> so, you know, I am tempted to get some of this yellowy colour for the apple. A yellow apple? Well, I've still got a little bit of green on my brush, so it's still going to make it look kind of greenish. <laughs> You're back to a razor again already. You just <laughs> I just want to see how it looks. You get impatient with ink mist, though. This is why I love pencil. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It doesn't like make a horrible inky mess. But with pencil, I hate that it never seems to set and that you can smudge it accidentally at any time. Oh, you're just using it wrong. What? <laughs> I'm really like nervously erasing everything now. <laughs> I'm just throwing random colors on, seeing what happens. Ooh. <laughs> why did the eraser just make a sticky sound? <laughs> <laughs> you're making me nervous. <laughs> I really don't know why one of my it's got pins and needles in it. I'm sat in a chair. Like, <laughs> I'm so unfit sitting down makes my <laughs> limbs go to sleep. <sighs> I want to get in here. I'm spinning round, guys. <laughs> Adam's in my way. That's my excuse. Hey! I never thought I'd say this, but I think we are graphiteless. I think I've managed to get rid of it all. Oh. <laughs> oh I kind of want to do my toad in like a brown colour. Oh, a lovely little brown toad. <laughs> it was going to be green, but there's a lot of green going on in this drawing, so you can be brown. I wonder what you guys are drawing at the moment. Yeah, guys, comment down below what you're drawing, because this is why I'm kind of keen at some point, and we'll have to get, like, webcams and stuff, but this is why I'm super keen for us to do live streams, so we can ask you guys this. We can say, oh, what are you drawing? And you can be like, oh, I'm drawing a frog. Or, oh, yeah, oh. they might be able to actually, like, link to it. I'm drawing my Uncle Eugene. <laughs> my Uncle Eugene. Comment down below if you've got <laughs> Uncle Eugene, guys. I would be genuinely interested. I would be super impressed. Say hi to Eugene for us. Kind my noobs. Do any of you guys in the comments, this is probably going to be so random, do any of you have a tremor? And I mean that seriously because I've been diagnosed with a tremor recently, which you might have noticed in yeah, you may have videos. yeah, you may have noticed in videos. Maybe sometimes like Steph, she just seems a bit excited. Yeah, my hands are just really, really wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute way of describing it, I guess. At first, I was kind of frustrated about it because with drawing, obviously, you want to have like a pretty steady hand or whatever. But I think I've adapted to it, and it's give my line art a bit of a wobble. So. I've it's like to it. been an accidental like style trait that you've managed to yeah, get. So. Considering people now associate like my line art with me. Exactly. So if you guys are curious, if you do see Steph's hand shaking sometimes in videos, that's basically why. Yeah, don't worry. I've been to the doctors and stuff about it. It's not... I'm not being electrocuted. <laughs> I'm not cold. Well, you do get cold very easily, but not to the point where she shakes. I'm not sure if it'll necessarily like go away or if it'll vanish over time or if it's here it's there but that'll be a journey we can go on together guys <laughs> but in case any of you guys also have like wobbly hands in the comments feel free to let me know any tips that you found with drawing that helps you because at the moment what i've been finding helps me is one drawing in te teeny tiny little sketchbooks because 
beforehand I was drawing more with like my arm and I was oh, doing big yeah. movements and I was doing too many wobbles like that but with small confined ones I can sort of tense my wrist a bit more to get like <laughs> certain lines. Calm down! <laughs> No, but I like how it, like, the effect that it has on your art. I've always thought the your art's really unique and very cute, so. <laughs> Let's all give Steph a round of applause. Oh, well, I don't need a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your clapping. <laughs> no, I'm letting mine dry, so I'll put her here and give you a little bit more room. Oh, thank you. I like room. There you go. Ooh, that pie is very burnt. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Let me... Ooh. Decided to get it cooked in the underworld. <laughs> Well, it can just be a well-baked pie. What flavor of pie is that? It's an apple pie. Really? Thanks for asking. <laughs> that snail looks like he's uh, kind of sneakily sliding into the pie. <laughs> I like his eyebrows. <laughs> I like giving things mm. eyebrows. <laughs> oh, I just realized you've actually got tissue roll over here. I could actually be using this to wipe my brush <laughs> I was like, well, you can use your squeaky sponges if you really want to. I need to taste some tea as well. It's just sat over here trying to get to drinking temperature. Ooh. So this is the apple one, right? How does it taste? No, it's not apple. <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> I wanted to find an apple tea, but I don't have one. <laughs> Vanilla, orange, and coconut, guys. And I thought oranges are close enough to apples. That's my day. <laughs> Just like the saying, apples and oranges, when you mean something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that is a really nice tea. You like it? Mm. It's really, um... I'm really bad at describing things. Even when I used to work in the coffee shop, we used to have to know how to describe coffee. Oh, yeah. And I hate the taste of coffee. <laughs> it, it tastes like coffee. Tastes gross. Don't they'd, buy this. Yeah, they'd give us like a really overdone cup that was like burnt or something, and then one that wasn't done enough. And they were trying to teach us the difference between the tastes, but even one that was perfectly done, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy this, it's killing me. <laughs> tastes gross. Oh, this is a cute little pie. So many people love the coffee though, but... Yeah, I know, I know a lot of you guys that watch our videos say that you enjoy it, but it's never... Hot drinks in general have never really yeah, appealed to me. Yeah, Adam refuses to drink hot drinks. I just think they're gross. I'm hot enough as it is. <laughs> nah, I just uh, like tea and coffee and stuff. It's just been like, meh, not for me. Ooh, I might but... use my pencil for this. I don't know if you've waited to do it, but did you forget to line your straw? Uh, I was thinking about maybe like painting it in or something. Ooh, okay. I forgot to colour in that leaf though. <laughs> there you go. I just went right. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute, right? yeah. <laughs> Might give it some blushy cheeks. Ooh. She's like, oh my god, that snail is so handsome. Maybe <laughs> she baked the pie for him. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, she's still... I'm just like watching if you're in frame. You've been hanging out in this like little corner all episode. Whoa, I look like such like a godly hand like that. You need to draw faster or you will be smited. <laughs> Let's move these out of the way so we can... so that people can see them a bit better. There we go. So this is what we managed to do for this week's Doodle and Tea. Don't forget to tell us what you draw and then what delicious drink have you been drinking today. I'm gonna post a mystery video uh, somewhere? <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another Doodle Date. Doodle Date. Bye guys. Bye.